Okay, come on, lots of masses. You can assign it to a faction now if you wish. Uh, thank you. Okay, hello, lots and lots and lasses. Last time I actually pressed the wrong button and edited the recording, but doesn't matter. We'll just go through the people that can speak, and we'll see. Okay, Phoenix, what do you want to say? Cyros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Dalom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose, like never before. And that is why the purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, a people can be controlled, but never united. This is true, and yet, the Firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. Well, well he basically didn't tell you anything. He just said, be good and let them join you by their own free will. Let's hope you're diplomatic enough to convince them. I know I would be, but I'm awesome. So, we have 20 points. Ah, not enough, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm not going to purchase that. I don't know, but I think we're guarding gas lower that way. Hmm. No, no, we're deploying Phoenix. That's settled. Carax. Your plan worked, Carax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. Okay. Clones are people. The purifiers are dangerous. Perhaps you must learn this firsthand. <laughs> You're in a cage. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kalai, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. Okay. Thank you, I guess. Something new, the Colossi. I received new robotic siege technology hierarch. Please make your selection. Oh, we have another of those guys. Robot support. Let's see them. New Taldarim robotics have been constructed based on Alarak's specifications. Let us hope his instructions were thorough. Um, yeah, let's hope that. Okay, let's see those books. I actually think they look better. Wow, these abilities seem awesome to be honest. Okay, I'll be taking those guys in action next campaign, I mean, next mission. 
Violently reprogrammed by Taudarim, these former sentries have had their shields generators replaced with advanced targeting systems. Their force field to generators remain intact. Okay. So, the Colossus or the Reaver? Ooh, Reaver. I told you they were replacements with worms. Okay, let's see the bio, shall we? Most mo mobile manufacturer modified for war. The Reaver's siege capabilities have been vastly improved. Carax has upgraded them with automatic scrap production based on the spear of Odun's Starforge. Starforge. Original. They seem somehow weaker, to be honest. Fire lance. Okay. Uh, we already saw those. Fire beam. Oh. Okay. Deemed too dangerous for use after Kalath in intercessions, the purifier programs Colossi utilize even more destructive. I think we use them, uh, even more destructive incendiary weaponry. These are the ultimate purification machines. I don't know we took them last mission, so let's take this guys for this one. Hey, dude. Wanna say something? I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism tensions my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. We seek to free your people from the lash, and yet you desire to enslave mine? I care not for freedom, it softens the people. I will dethrone Malash and save my kind from oblivion. But they will not be free. They will serve me. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix Machine as the new executor of the Purifiers and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. I actually agree with this guy on one account. Not about the purifiers, mind you. That's stupid. Let's give them the illusion that they have a choice. I know how to convince them and let them believe that they actually have a choice, which they will not. I will still control them. With the stasis grid down, the Zerg have begun infesting the surface of Cybros. We do not have long if we wish to save the purifiers. Your Templar are ready, Hierarch. Give the word, and it shall be reclaimed. Okay, Galad Salasis, I think I'm going to stop the recording here and start the next mission. So, see you on the planet's surface. Goodbye and see you in a few minutes.